it's Linda from Flow Magic and Gary. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're going to make a easy vegan risotto. This is a crowd pleaser. It's sure to please all of your guests and it's really simple and easy and it comes together in minutes in your instant pot. simple and delicious recipes, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you're notified when we release new videos every Thursday. Let's get started. So we're going to start by turning our Instant Pot to saute. We're going to put a little bit of vegan margarine or butter into the pot. So for this recipe you're going to need some vegan margarine, one onion that's chopped, I have four cups of vegetable broth, three cups of chopped mushrooms, I have some arborio rice, so this is a special kind of rice called arborio rice that you use to make a risotto, so I have one and a half cups of that. I have some petit pois, some little green peas, and some chopped parsley, and of course we're going to use our fromagerie Zengari creamy Swiss cheese to make this all nice and creamy. All right, so we've set our Instant Pot to saute and we've added in uh, about a tablespoon of vegan butter. We're gonna saute one yellow onion, mince, until it's translucent. And then add in your garlic. And keep stirring that, you don't want your garlic to burn. Give it about one minute, two minutes after you add the garlic. The traditional risotto is great, it's delicious, but it takes over an hour to cook on the stove. You just have to keep adding broth little by little. This is kind of a cheater version in the Instant Pot, but it's so much faster and easier and still super delicious. Your family's gonna love it. So we're going to add in our cremini mushrooms. I'm just going to add a pinch of salt in there just to help release the moisture in the mushrooms. So you can use any kind of veggies in this recipe that you like. You can add broccoli, you could add asparagus, I'm going to add some peas in here. Depends what you like in your risotto. So take a minute and comment below. Tell me what your favorite ingredients are to add to your risotto. So our mushrooms are nicely cooked down, our onions are soft, our garlic is fragrant. I'm going to add in one and a half cups of arboreal rice. And I'm going to mix that in just until the rice starts to become a little translucent. If you're looking for other recipes that are sure to impress your guests, click, check out the link below for our King Oyster Mushrooms and Fettuccine Alfredo. You're going to love that one. So once the rice has started to get a little bit translucent just around the edges, then it's time to add our four cups of vegetable broth. You can use vegetable broth or you could use a mushroom broth here. That would be great as well. So I'm just going to get that a little mix. And then I'm going to turn off the saute feature. And I'm going to put the lid on. Turn the seal to sealed, turn the little lever to sealed, and I'm going to put it on pressure cook and set it for seven minutes. So we have cooked our rice on pressure, high pressure for seven minutes. We've let it release, steam release, and now we're ready to add our cheese. Mmm, that smells delicious. 
So we have our Fromagerie Zangheri creamy Swiss cheese. I'm going to add half a wheel and mix it in really nicely so we get a nice creamy sauce. Okay, so that's all nicely mixed in. I'm going to add in about half a cup of petit pois, green peas. I just love the color it gives. Beautiful green. And I just add those at the end. Those were frozen peas. I let them thaw at room temperature while all of this is going on. I have about a quarter cup of chopped parsley. I'm gonna reserve just a little bit for garnish at the end of the dish. And mix that all in really well. Oh, this is beautiful. Super creamy, cheesy, and we're ready to plate that up. So I'm just gonna bring it onto this plate. Nice decorative plate. And while this was cooking, I have uh, prepared some sauteed mushrooms for garnish and some toasted pine nuts. So there we have our risotto, mushroom risotto. These I just sauteed in a little bit of vegan butter. I'm gonna layer those on the top. And then our toasted pine nuts. Add a great flavor to this dish and a little bit of chopped parsley. And there, there you have it. A beautiful vegan risotto that is sure to impress all your guests. Now if you want sneak peeks of all our new recipes and behind the scenes footage of what we have going on in the Zengari kitchen, make sure you subscribe, make sure you go over to our Instagram page and follow us. So if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, click the bell so you get notifications when our videos come out every week. New easy vegan recipes in your inbox. Thanks for now. Bye.